Hi kids, it's Pastor Patricia. This is a children's sermon for this Sunday, May 30th, 2021. We call this Sunday Trinity Sunday. Trinity. Hmm, I bet you've already figured out Trinity is something to do with three of something, T-R-I in the first part of Trinity. It's about how God is three different kind of personalities all in one God. So let's talk about that just a little. So do you get called the same name everywhere you go? Because I don't. I know people who call me Granny. Yeah, my grandchildren, they like to call me Granny. I just love being called Granny. And um, Patricia, that's what my husband calls me. He calls me Patricia. And then people at church, they call me Pastor. Oh, wow. Three different names, but they're all me, right? They're all me. And it's a little different with each of them. So the people who call me Granny, you know, my, my grandkids, to them, I'm probably somebody who makes a lot of cookies and jam, stuff like that. Patricia, to my to my husband who calls me Patricia, I'm I'm the person who holds hands with him sometimes and enjoys the the moonlight together. Different. And then at church, the people who call me pastor, to them, I'm the person who gets to stand up front and lead them in prayers and and singing sometimes. Anyway, it's all still me, but there's three aspects there, aren't there? Okay, well, I'm really nothing like God, but God has three aspects too. Um, God the Father, God the Son, that's Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit. So a long time ago, when I was a very little girl and I went to church with my dad, I would stand next to him and I would remember us both saying the Lord's Prayer, Our Father who art in heaven. And I have to tell you that because my dad was saying it, I was sure we were talking about my grandfather who had already died. It's kind of weird, isn't it? But I didn't really get it, that Our Father thing. And that's how I kind of began to understand about God the Father who made everything and um, was before the world was created and will be here long after. Then, you know, I remember learning in Sunday school and especially in my confirmation class about God the Holy Spirit. That was very cool. I love the story of Pentecost where the Spirit comes to the disciples and inspires them and they go out and tell everyone about God. Pretty cool. And then I think I've always connected Jesus with Holy Week. You know that week just before Easter, the, the sad week where we have Maundy Thursday and Good Friday where we remember Jesus dying on the cross and then rising from the dead on Easter, the resurrection. So that's God the Son. So if each of those individuals are all part of God, that's pretty something, isn't it? That God is so amazing, so powerful, and so connected to our lives that God has all these different facets. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Neat, huh? Did you know, just a little Hebrew for you today, did you know that in the book of Genesis, that's the very first book in the Bible, probably almost the oldest book written in the Bible, it talks about how the world was created, and it talks about the Spirit moving across the water to create the world. The Ruach, that's the Hebrew word for the day. Ruach, meaning spirit. And, and the Bible uses that word to describe the creation of the world. That's pretty cool. So the Holy Spirit's been around this whole time. All right, so that was kind of a big discussion about the Trinity, the three parts of God. But the important thing I think to know is that all three parts are God. And God's job is to love us just like our job is to love God. So thanks for joining me for this children's sermon. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.